Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is Chaplain Simone with Simone Presents. Today is a very special day. Today is the feast. It's actually the celebration of Bishop Grandin, Vitale Bishop Grandin. Bishop Grandin, we know, was the first bishop of Alberta, and he was actually sent here to establish the Catholic Christian Church here in Alberta. And his foundation was actually in St. Albert. Uh, bishop Grandin died on June 3rd, 1902. And so today, being June 3rd, we celebrate his life. So just wanted to share a few really quick, amazing things about Bishop Grandin. So the first thing is this, is that Bishop Grandin was born as a sickly child. He was not healthy at all. And in fact, he had a speech impediment. And so his life was difficult, right from the get-go, all the way up until he was ordained a bishop with the Oblates of Mary Immaculate. So this was a missionary order out of France, and Bishop Grandin had chosen, uh, when they asked him to, to become a missionary priest to come to Alberta, Canada. Actually, first of all, he ended up in Man Manitoba, and then because his work was so great there, uh, he, was, uh, he was so well respected that they ordained him a bishop, and he's known as the missionary bishop. So here's the thing. When he became a bishop, he had a motto, and his motto was, God chooses the weak of this world. God chooses the weak of this world. So that should give us all consolation. I know it gives me consolation because sometimes we feel really weak. We feel that we don't have much to offer. But this is really, really good news because the master teacher told us that without him, we can't do anything really good. We can't do anything really that's of worth unless we are united with him. The master teacher, Jesus said that I am the vine and you are the branches. Remain in me and I will remain in you. And so Bishop Grandin, he did that. He remained really, really close to the master teacher, to Jesus, even in his weakness, in his speech impediment. And here's the thing, when he came to Alberta, there was nothing here. But by the time he died on June 3rd, 1902, he had established a seminary, two hospitals, and over 50 Catholic schools. The first school board in Alberta was a Catholic school board. And that's why our school district, Cal Calgary Catholic School District, it's Calgary Catholic School District number one. And this was thanks be to Bishop Grandin, the missionary Bishop Grandin, who is the namesake of our school. So today, let us celebrate the greatness of Bishop Grandin. He's actually within the Catholic Church. It's a big word. He's called venerable. And so that means that he lived a life of heroic virtue, so much so that many people spoke about him and they witnessed to his virtues, you know, his ability to be so humble, so loving, so kind, so peaceful, so joyful, even amidst all these trials that he was in the early stages and he still is in the early stages of canonization. So it goes venerable, beatification, and then canonization. We actually made a big ass saint within the Catholic Church. So let's seek the help of Bishop Grandin today to ask him to pray for us, which we do every day in our morning prayer. At the end of our prayer, Mr. Simone would always say, Bishop Grandin, pray for us. So God bless you and have a great day.